commercial break. Moses did make his way to this side of the audience. Next year, when he's five, he'll make his way to that part of the audience. <laughs> but just over a decade ago, my next guest, Kim Gravel, was a struggling first-time mom who had all but given up on her dreams. But when the opportunity of a lifetime came knocking, like all my guests today, she opened the door and never looked back. Flash forward to today, the mom of two is the face of a $100 million empire that includes a popular fashion and beauty line, a podcast, hit shows on QVC, including the network's first ever talk show. Well, now the Georgia native is adding author to her list of accomplishments with her raw and powerful new book, Collecting Confidence, where she shares her no-nonsense approach to life, and her hard-earned wisdom, hoping to help inspire readers to find their own path and their own purpose. Please welcome QVC superstar, business mogul, and author Kim Gravel. Come on out, Kim. Oh, my God. Look at your life force walking in. You're amazing. Thank you. I love you more. Oh, Cameron. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful you look. I love that you and Carla, you both brought the inspiration and the fashion. Well, I you see know, your clear shoes, sexy over here. Listen, when you come to Tamron Hall, <laughs> you better get your dress game down. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, truly, when I started watching you, I was like, oh my gosh. First of all, I always wanted to be here. I love you, oh, I'm a I huge love, fan. Oh, I'm in the Tam fam. <laughs> yes, fam. yes, yes! Um, but your clothes, girl. Oh. Listen, it Dang. takes a team. It takes a team. But it's the Southern Roots, I say, you know. <laughs> right. It's the Southern Roots, too. We don't too. have to tease it. <laughs> Put it all together. Um, you know, I, I look at your story. You talk, I've been a fan of yours for a very, very long time. Oh, 2016. Okay. Let's go back to then. QVC oh, gave you the opportunity. They did. To pitch a fashion line. They did. Um, at the time. So, you know, when that, that opening comes in your life, someone says, okay, mm -hmm. you're up. You're up at bat. How did you know you were ready? I wasn't. You weren't? No. You're mm. never ready. This is the thing about it. I tell, I tell, it's the truth. I tell people all the time, I talk to young people, I talk to women across the world. We always try to be perfect, Tamara. Mm. We always try to bring it yeah. and, and think, oh, if I lose 20 more pounds, or if I, you know, a little bit more educated, or I had the right hairdo, or, you know, if I hadn't gone through that divorce. Fill in the blank of what that mess is in your life, you know? But what I did when that moment came along is I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this mess and I'm gonna make it a message. Oh. And I think people don't realize that you, you were waiting for this clear mm -hmm. moment where you you're do. suddenly gonna burst through the door. Many times I've burst through the door my, with my stomach in knots, Come with on. butterflies, but you still have to go you in there. You have to go in there and you have to tell, you have to shift your perspective. For me, you know, people say, Kim, how are you so confident? I, I'm really not. I'm, I, I'm, I'm confident. My, it waxes and wanes. Okay, I'm, I, well, listen. Okay. You were Miss Georgia. Uh, okay, decades ago. <laughs> 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 1991. And. Our team actually found the moment you won the crown oh 30 my years gosh. ago. Let me play this when you were Kim Hardy. Take a look. <laughs> Your new Miss Georgia and the winner of a $9,000 scholarship is Kim Hardy, Miss Stone Mountain. Giving shoulder pad greatness. Oh, inside their bag. <laughs> They're back their in bag. style. Because when you have big shoulders, your your butt and your waist look a little thinner. Thinner. Is that the secret? Oh yeah. But but it, this is a big moment because you won Miss Georgia. I did. You went on to compete Miss America. I did. You didn't win. No. But it was one of those. <laughs> and I don't bring that up to bring up pain. <laughs> but you said that was the moment. It was an illuminating moment, even in that loss. I learned more from losing Miss America than I ever did yes. from winning Miss Georgia. And I'll tell you, the, the messes make us up. They don't mess us up. Mm. Yeah. That's true. And, and, and I mean, Lord, I mean, your no. journey alone has no, been inspiring. We, it's the truth. You know what I'm it saying? It is. I mean, you've been very open about, you know, your marriage, yes. your all uh, the struggles, yes. personal struggles, yes. and still having to, as you say, collect 
collecting the confidence because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it doesn't. You have to collect it. You got to find. It, you got to build it. You got to. Well, we've always had it. See, yeah. we come into this. I, I look at Moses walking around. I thought, oh, he's so confident. <laughs> Not shy. <laughs> Go right up to you. We we are born with the confidence. It's it, the world. I call the world a confidence sucker. It is. And life chips away at that confidence. But I know without a shadow of a doubt, I'm a woman of faith. Mm -hmm. And I know that every single person on this planet has a purpose. Absolutely. They have a calling. Absolutely. Cameron, they have a calling. Listen, coming up, why Kim says, Googling the words, how do you create a reality <laughs> TV show, set her on a path to fame. We'll be right back. This is the book right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. QVC star Kim Gravel, whose new book, Collecting Confidence, is really a guiding light, I think. And it's so beautifully written. But to get to the light, we got to go to the darkness. Uh -huh. And in the book, you talk about the divorce um, and meeting your now husband. And you reveal that the lowest point of your life came. You were 23. Uh, you, as you put it, were broke, grieving the loss of the Miss America pageant. And here you are in this divorce. Mm -hmm. How did you reset, because you met Travis, uh, your husband. Mm -hmm. when, when did you meet him? I met him many, many years later, because um, there was a lot of healing. Yeah, because you guys have been together 22 years. He's, yeah, he'd been chasing me <laughs> like a dog in heat. <laughs> He's sitting in that apartment on Jimmy Carter Boulevard, which is not the most desirable area in Atlanta to live mm. in, it was the best time of my life, girl. Yeah. A lot of times we take for granted those hard times. And I'm gonna get emotional talking about it, Tamron, because it's the hard times that really make up who you are. And nothing is an accident. Nothing is an accident. Nothing is an accident. And sometimes the more you go through, yeah. the more you're getting ready to go to. Yeah. No, it's true. The more you go through. It's true. It's true. And you know, and I think about it now, you and Travis got two kids, two Bo 15, yeah. Blanton 14. Those are teenage men. Those are not babies. Look at them. They'll always be my they're, babies. They're going to always be your babies. But I never sit on a clean toilet seat. You ever. never sit on a clean toilet seat? But in the book, you like just like now, you keep it so real yeah, yeah. and raw about motherhood. You talk about um, feeling conflicted mm -hmm. about motherhood. Let's play it. Motherhood is the most confusing, discouraging, loving, amazing time of a woman's life. But mostly it's discombobulating because your life is no longer your own. But you're taking all kinds of cues from the culture about how you're supposed to feel. And honey, you're supposed to be happy, appreciative, satisfied. We live in a culture in which we're told we can have it all and do it all. Well, I couldn't. How are you supposed to have it all when you can't even bathe regularly? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's a true. It's a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a coin, and it has two sides. It has these beautiful sides where I'm looking over at my baby in the corner, but also realizing I was up at 3 a.m. because my baby was like not sleeping, and Wouldn't he's four, it. and I'm like, dude, you're four. It's time to sleep for the night. <laughs> right. You know, it, it's it's and, and knowing you got to go to work and you have this responsibility. In full transparency, Tar Tamron, I. I lost a little bit of myself when I became a mother. You did? I did. Mm. I gained so much, but it was, it was when I lost, when I thought my dreams were gonna have to die. I thought all of my life was going to be just these boys. And they are to a certain extent. But motherhood is not a, a, your calling. No, no. Motherhood is the most important job yeah. we'll ever have. Yeah. But motherhood is not the final destination yeah. for women. Yeah. Well, that's so true because Listen, and I think to your point, it's not your final destination because at some point there, your baby birds are going to fly they out and they're going to find their own path. Yeah. And I have so many other moms who tell me sure. and remind me, although I'm as old as Methuselah <laughs> having mine. Well, I was an older <laughs> mom too. I but was 38. But the reality is at some point yeah. you'll look up, they'll have their own friends. Yeah. They'll have their own lives and you want that for them. And so for them to have that, you've got to find who you are. Right, And it That's can't right. be behind them, you know, walking around helicoptering all the time. Right, but th when you live your life's purpose, yeah. they see you do that, uh. they're going to emulate. I, I, my very best friend says this, she says, parenting is not what we say or do, it's who we are. Oh. And when they see you live out who you are, then that's, that's all we want for our kids. So you, so finding who you are, I love this lady in our audience, she's I, amazing. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> 
And you, it's like a whole church in she here. She is like, fabulous. This is Tam Fan for life over here. But you talk about a, a Googling the phrase reality TV uh -huh. show. Yeah. Why do you think we all, should we all Google that? I say anything can be done with Googling God. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I did. I, I Googled, I said, how can I, because I had this message and this heart and this passion for women to see women rise and be everything they were created to be. And so I said, well, how can I get it on a national platform? So I'll just do a reality TV show. Yeah. I didn't know nothing. Didn't know my butt from the hole in the ground. And I just went, click, click, click. How do I do a reality TV? That's how it started, Tamron. Just Googling it. Just Googling it. A year a later, form, I was on Lifetime. That's a form of speaking into existence. Yeah. Yes. You say it. Take no. your shot. Shoot your you shot. Can't, you got to shoot your That is a form of speaking into existence when people ask me, you know, how do you, I said, what do you want to do? And when they hesitate, I said, there's your uh -uh. flaw. Before we go, I got to ask you the fashion line. Okay. I mean, you have this huge apparel line, Belle by Kim Gravel. Uh -huh. You've got Belle Beauty. All of this success mm -hmm. manifested by collecting that confidence. Mm -hmm. Just believing yes. in that I had a purpose and I had something to say. My why... My why is my most important thing. Why am I even here today? And it's just to encourage people. I'll add to that. Your, your, your purpose has been to, and this is what makes it so important, I believe. It's one thing to collect the information for yourself. Mm. You've collected the confidence and you have spread the word through this book, mm. through your shows, okay. through your success, because you want other women to have this too. It's time. It's time. It's time. It is time. Kim's book, Collecting Confidence, is available starting tomorrow. Guess what? Because Kim's mission is to help everyone else. Yeah. You're all going home with a copy of Kim's book. Wait, wait, that's not it. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. Everyone is getting an assortment of beauty products from Kim's Bell Beauty Collection. You will be confident with the book from the inside and beautiful with the products on the outside. Thank you. I love you. You're so lovely.